So now I'm going to show you how to set up for your exposure for your pinhole positive on the Omega Enlarger. Uh, the Omega Enlargers, there's five of them in the dark room. They are just really basic uh, black and white enlargers. They are set up very similar to the Bessler Enlargers, uh, but they just have a couple of things different. So we'll talk about where everything is on those. When you are getting set up to do your pinhole positive, the only thing you want to have out at the very beginning is your negative. You don't want to have any other photo paper out right now uh, because it will get extra light to it and it will get exposed. So I have my negative there. And to get my five things set that I had written on the board, I need to turn on the light of the enlarger. So on the timer itself, we're gonna push the focus button right here, which will turn on the light. You can see the light is on the red filter there. I'm gonna swing this out of the way because all I have out right now is my negative and nothing else is gonna happen to that, so it's fine that it is underneath the light without anything protecting it. Uh, so I have, you can kind of see the area, I have a light on my phone right now, so it makes it a little bit difficult, but you can see the area of light right here. And it's a, it's a bigger than my negative, which I want, but I, do, I don't need it quite that big. So I am going to adjust the height so that that area of light is a little bit smaller and just a little bit bigger than my negative. Uh, and I'm also going to adjust the focus. So remember those are the first two things that you need to adjust on the enlarger that I had written on the board. And sometimes you have to do those two things together. So this is the right side of the enlarger, okay, just to the right of the enlarger head. I have the height adjustment knob and then this one closer to the enlarger head is the focus. The height adjustment knob is right along the post of the enlarger. So that is what adjusts the height and the enlarger goes up and down along that post. So I can turn that knob towards me to loosen it a little bit, hold on to the knob and that raises and lowers the enlarger head. Okay, it goes up and down there. And like I said, I'm just going to adjust this until the area of light is just a little bit bigger than my negative, okay? So that gives me just a little bit of room at the top and bottom, not too big. If I have this raised up really high, you can see the area of light gets bigger. Okay, so I'm gonna have that down right around there. And then my focus, again, this is the focus dial on the right side, just next to the height adjustment. And you can see that raises and lowers the lens of the enlarger as I turn that. And I want the edges of the light to be focused and not have them See if as I turn this, see it gets really big and they get fuzzy and it fades out. So I'm going to adjust this so that it is crisp all the way around, crisp clean edges all the way around. Okay, so right about there, okay? So that is the height and focus. Now again, like I said, you might have to do them together and kind of go back and forth between the two because if my focus is way off and I go to adjust the height and the height I get the height set to where I want it to be and then I have to adjust the focus and then that kind of changes everything so sometimes you have to go a little bit back and forth between the two to get it to have a good height and have clean crisp edges all the way around okay so I think that looks pretty good um, the next thing I'm going to adjust is the aperture and the aperture is on the lens down here which is this one is really hard to see I'm gonna go to this side actually because the numbers you'll be able to see the numbers better on this side the numbers are on two sides of the lens uh, so over here on the side you can see that the numbers range from 3.5 to 4 to 5.6, 8, 11, and then ends with 16. So with the aperture here, we want it all the way open, which is the smallest number in this case, which is 3.5. You can see there is a tiny dot right above my 3.5, and that means that that's where I have it set. You'll have a hard time seeing that in the dark room because of the you know lack of light in the dark room. So what you can do is you can use the light on the home screen of your phone. Do not turn on your flashlight, but you can turn on the light of your home screen 
and just shine it up there carefully so that it illuminates you know the numbers and you can see that a little bit better um, you can also just kind of go by looking at the light in this case so if I turn this aperture you can see how the light is getting dimmer it kind of disappears okay that's because I went all the way to 16 on the aperture dial okay and as I open that up and turn it to the left you can start to see the light better and it gets brighter so one, uh, turning it one direction it stops and it gets really dim and that's at 16 the other direction I turn it it stops and it gets really bright and that's 3.5 so as long as you have it at the brightest setting you'll be at that 3.5 uh, side of the dial but you can always double check that with your phone just very carefully the next thing we need to set is the time on the timer and the timer we want to have it say five seconds so I'm going to this says three seconds right now I'm going to use the time plus button and raise this up until it says 5.0 one too far they're a little touch sensitive sometimes um, but you want it to say 5.0 and that means five seconds if it was 0 0.5 that would be half a second and if it's 50 you're gonna be waiting for a long time so make sure it says 5.0 on that timer okay the last thing that you need to check are the filters now you're not going to be using filters right now for doing the pinhole picture you will be using them later but we want to make sure that there are no filters inserted into this enlarger um, you will be able to tell on these these are very easy to tell this the on the uh, on the Omega uh, enlargers you will be able to see if there's a filter in there because the light will not look white it will look pink um, if you end up with a pink light, that means that there is a filter inserted in this little tray, okay? But there is no filter in here. It's completely empty. You don't have to take that out. You can pretty much see by the light. But if you notice that it looks pink, just take that out, pop the filter out, and bring that out to us uh, so that we can put that with the other filters. Um, the other enlargers, we have to turn the filters on and off. They're built in. But with this one, they have to be actually inserted. So those are the five things that you have to check on the Omega Enlarger to get set up for doing an exposure. Um, once you're all set up, then what you want to do before you get out photo paper is put this red filter under the lens. So swing this out to be able to see the light and get everything set without any other photo paper out and putting that under the lens before you get photo paper out so that your paper is protected from the light and won't get exposed until you're ready to actually expose it.